You're listening to Goons, Games, and Gear, the sexiest gaming podcast in the world. Okay, it's Kung Fu Panda review time. Uh, we we love Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, we've uh, seen all of them. We've seen all of them. I have a tattoo <laughs> right here right? of Poe. Poe po and Tigers are going at it. Uh, <laughs> spoiler, Poe's a power bomb. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, <clears throat> so it took like a few weeks until I watched it. I let it settle. I'm actually kind of glad we didn't immediately do a review because I might have just had like like oh, the hype, the hype, yeah, the yeah. hype brain. Um, oh God. So originally, when we talked about it, like to, personally, we we we, I think we both agreed we went like one, three, four, two. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I'm like I'm very con- I'm very concerned because I might actually put it as the last one, uh, like one one three one three two four instead. But um, yeah, I don't know about you that changed, but like. I, I learned some information. I'm not sure if you saw anything about behind the scenes, but yeah. like there was like there's issues. They apparently originally they wanted to be a hybrid live action. What? Yeah, they want. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to be. A, and then like everyone had to convince like the higher ups like that's stupid. Yeah, don't do that. Stop. That's ridiculous. DreamWorks, you're like literally on top of the world right now. And and then there's also the other issue that like they all basically kind of agreed that three was like the end. Right. But then like. Someone they're like, we can milk this for more, which I mean, everyone's like, okay, fine, but it's gonna be hard to get all of us in the same scheduling like permit, and then that right. kind of led to, okay, here's the issue, jo- uh, what's her name, the uh, Tigress, uh, isn't it? Um, jo- I could yeah. Jolene, uh, <laughs> uh J- Angelina Jolie, and, yeah. Apparently, this for like a line, it cost like ten million. Yeah, yeah, like she's su- which I mean, like she's super famous, which is why, we're- right? So like. I think to a degree they had to diversify the like like what do we do? Do we keep the same cast or do we like go out and get other casts for less money, but then we have to cut back on like the original? Right. I always foresaw this being an issue. Just getting those those the same five like they were people. all big yeah. at right. It's Angelina Jolie, Jackie Chan, Seth Rogen. Uh, ja- uh Seth oh wait, uh, uh, where are the other two? They're they're both big is like Steve Buscemi one of them? Steve Buscemi no. Uh, Is it, who's Crane? That's a good question. It's Crane and Snake. I can't remember. Oh yeah. Uh, but see. they're like all five big actors, huge actors. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, Tara Strong. Never heard. Uh, and I don't know who. Oh, oh, never mind. Tara Strong is. Wait, Tigress. Oh th- no, this has to be for that's the, for the show. Yeah, that's for, yeah. Um. Oh, oh, I just want to like see like a real movie. Put in, put in Kung Fu Panda three. Voice yeah, I'll do Kung Fu Panda one. Yeah. That's gotta have it. Uh, I think it's him. Oh, Lucy Liu. Yeah. Oh my. Oh God. right, Lucy Liu. Right, right, right. And, and then who's, um, uh, who's Snake? I think the last one. Oh, David the, Cross is Crane. No, Leah. David who? David Cross. The last. Oh, okay. okay. Huh. He, which, oh yeah, yeah that makes they're sense. They're all okay. big actors. Right. So. so like, I, I understand they want to go out and like. Right. But however, the problem is that after the first trailer, everyone's like, oh, where's the Furious Five? They came out with like a poster. It's like the Furious Five are back. Right. What a fucking lie that was. Yeah, it was an after credit scene and none of them talked. Right. Like, it was a voiceless after credit. Like right. that. So and OK, um, but backtrack here. So like the the at least explained in the movie why they're not in the movie. They're like, oh, Tiger, right. everyone's on a mission, which Makes sense. I'll give them right. that. Like, and is act- that, I, did you watch the show? I haven't watched yeah. the show. So is that like what they're doing in the show too? Do you know? No, no. no. Okay. In, in the show, basically, uh, you're talking about the Netflix one. The, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, they they don't really give a good reason why they're not there, but Poe kind of becomes an outcast. He like embarrasses himself, and people don't believe him as like the Dragon Warrior. So he goes like on an adventure to Britain. Oh, but okay. uh, yeah, yeah. But he he just goes out the faraway land. Um. But I, which it's, it's like, I honestly don't really have to watch it. But yeah. uh, so, like, I understand why they wanted to do new cast. I always thought they underutilized Jackie Chan immensely in every movie. Like, Monkey never has any lines. Right. Um, but anyway, so, so the Furious Five being out, I can, I can look past. Personally, I can look past it. I, right. you know, it's like they, they did what it's they did. Focus on Poe. Right. You're right. setting up a new character anyway. Right, right. Like, He's like fine. the spiritual leader now, you know, like the Uguay, whatever. Right. Um, I, I, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to piece out how I want to play this out. This might be a long episode. But, uh, all right, so, like, this is all about finding a new Dragon Warrior. Right. Mr. Beast made an appearance or, like, a small cameo as one of, like, the Dragon Warrior contestants, which, by the way, I love that scene where, like, he's, like, Ugwe and, like, watching people do, like, the, you know, the Dragon Warrior test. Yeah, the test. Yeah, I, I like that. I thought that was a fun throwback. Um, 
And he like points at himself and doesn't make a decision. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I'm the dragon. Right. Like me. <laughs> me. <laughs> like it's me again. I, yeah, I, I thought that was funny. Um, and Shifu's like, you've got to pick. You, you have yeah, it right, out. right. And then. I okay. Look, I, I just I, my my brain so jumbled how I want to do this, but I, okay. So from the start, we knew Ty Long was coming back, right? Like we right. did that he was in, in the, the trailer. was the trailer. That was cool. And even that, like, man, they downplayed so yeah, yeah, much. Yeah, they downplayed. Pretty like hard. he comes back for the, so the, the the chameleon is the main villain. Her gimmick is that she can steal kung fu from everybody. She um, can shape shift and steal kung fu. Right, right. So she like summons all literally all three of the bads from the last three movies. And, like, a bunch of other, like, masters oh. from the past. And, like, steals, wants to steal their kung fu. Um, so, like, Tai Lung's the first one, which is, like, early on in the movie. And he's like, what are you doing? Like, I don't, I don't want this. Like, for whatever reason, <laughs> Tai Lung's just, like, a good okay. guy. Okay, oh my, I, right? dude, dude. Right? He's uh... just, like, instantly a good guy now from being locked in the spirit realm for however long. Um, so she takes his. His is the first one she takes. And then... Oh, just, it, I'm sorry, just backtrack. The only reason she's taking it is because she... Oh, she no, can't no, learn Kung so, Fu. So no she's, one like a, she's a chameleon, so she's, like, tiny compared but, okay, to everybody but else. They, so she didn't... Uh, uh, no one wanted to teach her. Be, and she said because she was, quote, too small and no right. one would accept me. That makes no fucking sense because... <laughs> Je, uh, uh, Mantis uh, learns yeah, Man, Mantis is there. learn from Mantis, what? right? Yeah. Well, no, it's not even that, but, like, how how is that your excuse? Right. What they should have just said was, I innately just was not good at learning Kung Fu. Right. That would have made more, at least, like, some kind of sense. Yeah. But just, but, like, saying, oh, uh, you know, too small, no one would accept me. Dude, we, we, like, like, Master Chicken, like, uh, Matt from Kung Fu Panda 3, there's a right. Mantis who's just, like, intensely small. Viper is just a snake. I right. mean. Viper has no hands or legs. Right. So that was a really, really stupid, like, reason. Right. I, I, like that, I was like, why? Right. You know? So basically, she's like a crime boss now and steal, oh, right, right. wants to steal people's kung fu to, like, acquire it for her own. Uh, cool. Whatever. But then, like, Tai Lung isn't seen until the end of the movie where he's just locked in a cage and doesn't do anything. <laughs> and that was, like, it. So he, I mean, he had a fight scene, at least, when he was, like, summoned. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, when he's, like, fighting off, like, the her minions oh, and then yeah. he gets it stolen. Like, th- like that was fine. He, but here's, I'm not sure it's because I, I want to be vastly different, but ideally what I wanted was, you know, like, uh, you know, Poe, whatever, he, he fights a chameleon, but like, it would have been so great if Tai Long turned out to be the next dragon warrior. Right. And that like, and then that's what, uh, but you know what I'm saying? That like, he's, so, he's like, back, but you but you, like, or and, just like, right. She, she summons him back from the spirit realm, takes his power and doesn't lock him up. He like goes to warn. Po oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, you're right. right? Yeah, and then like yeah, a rom-com right. buddy. That would have been right. That would have been like perfect. Right. Exactly. You, you like, market him. You hire Ian McShane to do the, the voice right. again. And then you like waste it. He does like oh, yeah. two he's lines. Like, he's like, and then yeah, an honestly. hour later does like six more. And, no. th- and then at the end, they're buddy buddy anyway. Like spoiler alert, they're they're, they're buddy buddy anyway. He's like, you know what? You're pretty cool, Poe. Like Panda. Uh, uh, like a hundred percent agreed that Ty- like it realistically should have been that Ty Long comes back, warns Poe, and then like the adventure is Ty Long learning how to be a like a better right. person and not a massive douche. Right. And because because that was like, like that's the worst part of the Kung Fu Panda lore, which is crazy to talk about, but. It's just that, like... <laughs> the Kung Fu the, 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 <laughs> It's just that, like, Tai Lung, I believe, deserved a redemption arc. Oh, yeah. And, like, oh, yeah. And, like, like and that, the first, in the first one, it was just an incredible tale of just, like, Tai Lung felt betrayed. He wanted, he was taught to be the dragon warrior that was taken away from him, so he just goes basically on a murder spree. And then, like, she was like, okay, my son's in the spirit realm. That's fine. Right. Like, right. like it would have been so great. But then, instead, they got Aquafina as, like, the fox, which... It kind of grew on me. She but was I just, fine by the end of the movie, right? But I just don't see I'm her just, as like a mainstay. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like, like I don't want that fox to come back again. But I like. I mean, spoilers. She's the new. Dragon. But yeah, but that was like I think that was in the synopsis to right. begin with, right? Um, but the, the, it's stupid too, right? Like that the, they like paid. Tai Lung to be like in this movie again, like the voice actor, and but like they had the other two guys, like the other two oh. villains, and they said nothing. They said nothing. The but whole movie, they said nothing. They so that was another thing in the back. Apparently, in like the back end of things, like 
they like ran out of time to animate. That's why they were so stiff. Like right. those two like didn't do anything. They didn't move. They just like right. they just so stood in their cage. Right. And which it, like who who here, raced those two? The the it was um Peacock and <sighs> Ox. The guy who's Jon uh um James Jonathan from Spider Man. The you know the newsletter. Oh, oh, right. I want Spider Man. Right. I forgot his name. Uh oh wait no I just said his name James Jonathan. Um and then uh I I don't I don't know the uh. Was the, the the peacock guy at all? Oh, Gary Oldman. Wow. Okay. So like they're big voice actors, right? So like, um, I so here's a, another big issue. I think this kind, besides the chameleon part, the whole bringing everyone back from the spirit realm would have made infinitely more sense as the last Kung Fu Panda movie, and like these people want revenge on Poe, and he has to like just fight them all off. Right. Him, him and the Dragon Warrior, whoever right. it is. I think that would have made way more sense. It just been cooler. But like, I feel like that like idea is just wasted here, especially because they don't have the voices. You know, right, they're right. just like, dude, come on. Um, also, we should probably talk about like the side mission, which was the two his two dads. Oh yeah. So like, and, and did they change the voice actor of uh, Poe's dad? Poe's dad? No, it was still Brian Cranston. Uh, oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like, no, 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 not not the panda, the the. No, it's, it's still James Hong. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He just sounded different, I guess. Maybe because he's older now or whatever. But they're, they both, like, are, for whatever reason, this movie, not the other three, right? Like, they, they, uh, Mr. Ping was, like, always worried, like, in the movies. But he wouldn't go out and do anything. This one, I feel like because they didn't have the Furious Five, they were like, what do we do on the side? Yeah, and, yeah. You know, they, they had to pad it. And, and it was like, oh, well, let's send the two dads after him. And it's like, what are they going to do? <laughs> they literally do nothing. Right. My, mind you, in, in three, um, uh, Mr. or Mr. Ping, he like he he did a company Poe, but I think it was after the fact, like he kind of snuck in. Right. And like it didn't really show him on the adventure, if I'm remembering correctly. But like he didn't, it wasn't like a side mission. This is like the both dads are concerned, like, oh, we got to follow Poe because he might be in danger. It's like. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. He's the dragon warrior. What, what, happened, what happened in Kung Fu Panda too? Why didn't you follow the the you know the deep China? Why did you you know right. or at least Ping? Right. Um, but like, it, I don't think it was like the worst because like it was funny when they were in the bar. Right. It was uh, like a comedic relief almost. Yeah. yeah. Like, while this other stuff was going on. Right. Um. Anyway, so so Aquafina. So what, what is her name? Like the the, the fox. The fox. Remember. Uh. Zen. Zen. Okay. Zen. You know, she's a thief. Uh, she turned out to work for the chameleon. She's been tricking Poe the whole time. They go on adventure. She learns that Poe's like a great guy. And of course, they change your heart. Um, I it, it, like I, I didn't mind the adventure, like like the, like them bonding together, them uh, like in the the, the right. It was the very like buddy. It's been done before. Right. right. I just wish it was Tai Lung. Right, right. No, like no, I so know no, there was a better option. Yeah, there, there was a better option. Yeah, even if you didn't become the Dragon Warrior, right? And like they they left that for the next movie, right? Because that that was like that was almost kind of wasted too. I feel like like deciding in one movie that it was this box, right? But like <laughs> if it was like Tai Lung was the buddy, then they could have set up and been like, oh, you know what to do. Like you'll find the Dragon Warrior, and then have another movie. I, I, See, I, I don't mind it because I think they need it's one movie to just kind of show what it means, what it means to be the Dragon Warrior, and then right. like the, this, this one is like who became it and why, and now it's like okay, how do I actually just be a dragon, you know, the Dragon right. Warrior, right? Um, I, but like, uh, I oh, also the, I love the the crazy train rendition they did in the in like the police chase. Oh yeah, they always have like a banger it, remix. The soundtrack was really good. Yeah, right. Um. It was just like uh, I, I thought. Honestly, I thought it was pretty a pretty funny movie. There was parts we were laughing our ass off. Uh, oh, there was a lot of like, like, like good was, like adult humor in it, right? Like, the hidden oh, the, for the parents. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't think of the fish in the the the, in the, the stork mouth. I would have really loved that that character came back to the temple and became like a master. Right, like right. that it was, was like it the next, funny. one of the That's next a, five or something. I think he's like a sleeper hit. Yeah, he oh. could he could come back and like be a hero. I feel like. Oh, you know, it's just a total side note, but uh, they did. They are in discussions. Um, oh, actually, originally this was they actually wanted to do a Furious Five spinoff movie before this, and they're still and they're still they're, they're still okay. in talk to that. But I mean, like and, but Joe, but it's just I, well, the, not in the show. Well, they're not. They're barely in the show. But 
the I think just the money for those huge those five huge actors, and I don't think they can do a spit like different voices. You know, I think do it after like Shrek Four. What does Shrek have to do with it? Well, Shrek will make the money. Also, it'd be Shrek Five. Oh, Shrek Five. Do it after. How did you not get that? (laughs) Do it after Shrek Five, and you're like literally rolling in cash, (laughs) and then you pay them and do Furious Five, right? Uh, and um, but anyway, so yeah, they go through a city, like, there's a, the underground part, which, like, was fine. Um, yeah, so, like, and then, like, you, you said it before, but, like, Thailand has, like, almost a total of, like, maybe four lines in the movie. And one of them is just, like, bashing Poe's, like, yeah, I knew you were an idiot. Like, you know, like, right. I, like, like, well, he's like, oh, Tai Long, you're back. And, he, you know, he's like, yep, I'm back. And you're obviously a failure of a dragon warrior. Right. And then, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, and then and when they beat Chameleon... Wait, we're gonna go back to the boss fight in a second. Um, he's like, oh, maybe I was wrong. Like, what? <laughs> right, right. Just like, ah, oh, you beat him. Like, cool. I don't get why they're so like, uh, like they're happy now that they're in the spirit realm. And it's like, um, so behind the scenes, there's also a big fight. They couldn't figure out if the spirit realm meant you were dead or was just a different existence of living. Right. And it's like because so are you saying Poe killed Tai Long that like just sent him with the pinky or right. is he just in a different dimension? But. Shen, but Shen is uh, Shen is dead. Like that's confirmed. So right, but he's in the spirit realm. You think he'd be in the bad spirit realm? Right, but. right. There is no, and then yeah, there's no bad spirit realm. Right. I guess it, it's just the spirit realm. I think they should. They, if they introduce that into lore, like there's a different spirit realm for those who are like, you know, unworthy. Or right. just like hell. That would be kind right, of right. Cool. that would have been cool. And but then like, but Poe sends these bad people to the good place. That would like be an interesting plot, that right? They could, like they a were, redemption, right? That is um, their redemption, I guess, right? But, but I, I think our synopsis for Tai Long would make infinitely more sense, right? It. Yeah, but uh, the chameleon fight, though, I liked a lot. I thought it was, it was. I think she's I, a I, very good uh, villain. Like, had a really like evil aura to her. Right. Like her uh, powers, she couldn't do kung fu, but like her powers really cool. The shape shifting and like. It just seemed like she could be anyone, like at any time, which was really cool. So, um, you know, I just thought of this. I, and the so, final fight was just well, well, yeah, banger. The, the fight, the fight was banger. I was very surprised that with the amalgamation of like turning to like this deformed dragon thing with like all these right. own powers. Right. That was an interesting twist. I, it, it just occurred to me though, what like I from the trailers when we saw them, like she turned into Poe, you know, like like a chameleon. My presumption was that she stole his pow- like his kung fu, but that never happened. No, she so, never hit him. But like, I think looking back for like the final fight, it would have made more sense that near the end if she stole Poe's kung fu and then uh, Zen like, Aquafina or whatever, or, or like Aqua. No, he's like here, Zen. You're gonna need the staff, and that like you know, then she beats right. the chameleon. Um, I, I personally though, I think the very end they phoned in were like. She just like copies Poe's movements, like scabam, and then it right. shoots like the blast. Yeah, I was like, and eh. and then also the fact that Poe actually could, uh, uh, which I don't understand. How could Poe get out of that metal crate? The, right. like, like like he actually couldn't get out of it originally. Last time. Right, right. Yeah. But now he's unless like, it was like actually just like a big brain like bluff the first time that he couldn't pick it up. No, but the, but then why would he give Zen the staff? I guess the. Prove herself, yes, uh, like that because they like alluded to it the whole movie, right? He was teaching her how to do that, and like then she was like forced to do it almost, and like I don't know, it, <laughs> <laughs> but like it's just a. Uh, I, I thought that part was kind of phoned in, just like using the the staff power. I was like, right. okay, I mean, I guess, but um, yeah, and then it just annoys me that like, wait, you could have got out of the whole time, couldn't you? Like, yeah, I could have. I want to see what you could do. It's like, right. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, it's like like really? Um so I know we kind of like jumbled through the whole thing, but it was right. like That was basically the gist of the movie. Was, I mean, they go on the adventure, they get to the chameleon the city where the chameleon is, they try to like infiltrate. I do like I, I like how it was like Poe just didn't know what city life was like. And right, it was basically like, kind of cool. like a pun of New York. Yeah. And <laughs> everyone moves so fast. Like, oh, all these smells. The chase. Everything was like animated really well, oh, right. too. The like, police the, chase was the really good. The police chase was awesome. Like, there was no, like, no bad animation, at, like, anywhere. Maybe, like, the end. Uh, I yeah, guess, I was going to say the, with, with the, the villains. Bosses, yeah, but yeah, they the were, villains. like, background yeah. footage anyway. Right, right. Um, yeah, the chameleon's a sweet, like, boss. I feel like DreamWorks on point with their, like, 
bosses lately with like death from Puss in Boots 2 and right like this was really good so. oh uh, but again I will say that like the the what's it called with the community just her backstory was just kind of yeah stupid. just stupid yeah, right, like just oh stupid. I couldn't no one wanted to teach me kung fu <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about yeah. um, and not, also a total plot hole right there is that the Furious 5 are known throughout like the the land so you're gonna tell me you couldn't go to Mantis like you know she has to know he exists. So that was like stupid too. Is that like so? Pose like around the city is like, oh, I'm the Dragon Warrior. It was like, what? Oh like, wait, uh, that's like right. no one knew who the Dragon Warrior was. I assume they didn't. In correlation, didn't know who the Furious Five was. Then that's okay. But no, it, that's actually like, yeah, that's fair. So then it's like, what? Like, what are they protecting then? Just literally that one town. Like right, right. yeah, yeah. The, the Valley of Peace, but like everywhere else, they were like pretty like where Tai Long was originally in the prison. They there was communication between right. like the prison and. Yeah, so like that that I don't think that makes sense. You're very good point. That, Couldn't like, she have also like summoned Ugwe back from the spirit realm and like stole his kung fu? Because I assume he was That's a good a point. Master, right? Like, right, I, yeah, that's like a really good point. I understand yeah. like maybe they could get the voice actor, so they just cut it, but like <sighs> I feel like that would have been the big brain player. Like Kai right. Lung, he's a badass, but like there's better people you could have taken <laughs> their kung fu. She, well, yeah, she said specifically Villains, but now that right. you point that out, yeah, I guess why wouldn't it couldn't be anyone else? But the spirit realm is so weirdly vague that we don't understand what or who is in right. there. Um, or is it just like a kung fu masters? But uh, I was just gonna say it was cool with the chameleon fight though that she used like everyone's like fighting styles. Like she had um, she turned to Shen for a second with like a peacock and like threw stuff, she uh turned into or like she used um Kai's like double wield right. style the- title. Tai Long, she like you know the the paralyzation technique and stuff like that. Right. Um. I, like. I, like. Yeah. Again, her animation is fighting was super cool. Yeah. Backstory just sucked. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's like. Is is there really anything else to talk about? In, well, like just in movie before we get to like our overall thoughts. I don't think we really missed anything. Um. Oh, like oh. Zen was like a double agent. That was like the twist. Oh, I said at the beginning, but yeah, yeah. that she works for Chameleon, which yeah. I actually I didn't. For some reason, I didn't think about. I did not. Did you? <laughs> oh, I, I saw it coming oh, a million I miles. I, oh, I didn't see that for some reason. Yeah. I was like, "What? <laughs> really? Yeah. What? Wait, like, no way!" Yeah, I threw popcorn to the yeah. left of me. I was like the kid in what? front of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> why, Aquafina? Why? Uh, here's another part I'm having an issue with. So, like, Poe and uh, Poe's dads, they they get to the city, you know, on their adventure. So they finally meet up with Poe, but but like. Their whole like gimmick of being there, like, oh, we're gonna help stop the army from like like stopping you from your battle. Oh, right. So there's like an underground like thieves guild basically that Zen was a part of in this city when she lived there. Right. Uh that like the dads like the Poe and her interact with them, but then the dads hire them to like fight in the last fight or whatever. But oh, that that was another thing. So like after we left, I was hoping, right? And this was before we like saw the end and what happened with the Furious Five. I thought the gimmick of the dads was to go and get the Furious Five and be like, hey, like Poe's in trouble. Like, we need you. And then they were going to show up at the last battle and like help out. But no, just disappointed <laughs> in that. Yeah, that see that. Yeah, that would have made more <laughs> sense. Yeah, I, I would expect. Yeah, now you think it's a. I in, in the movie, can you stop coughing when okay when we, when we were watching yeah I was expecting the in the final fight that like the Furious Five would come in as backup that's what they meant when oh Furious Five are back right you know at least they, if they came in at least then it would have kind of like justified their you know existence in the in the movie granted they right. weren't any before it and they could have had it where like they were the fighting world. the other villains like like the chameleon didn't have to lock them up and could have just like had them be evil or whatever right and then. That was what the Furious Five were taking, taking care of or whatever. I, but it was only villains, though. <sighs> right. It was, it's stupid. Yeah. It, I don't it, know. They, right. It, it just it just it's it's interestingly weird. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah. So like, I would I, I'd actually argue this might be the second funniest Kung Fu Panda movie though, comedically. Oh, the like, jokes yeah, were yeah, like yeah. The jokes are point. yeah. The jokes yeah. are really on point. The the again the fish character was like really just just funny for no real reason. Right. Um, like I'm, I, I can't really think of a lot of jokes off the top of my head, but they're just like adult like the center. killer bunnies in the thieves guild oh, yeah. that were like pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, the there was like these two monkeys in it too that were like like a comedy sketch. They didn't talk at all, but they were like doing oh yeah, stuff yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, there's like mugging Poe. He's yeah. like oh, <laughs> um, 
So like, like I'll give it that, but it, it's just I'm trying like when it comes to ranking it comparatively to the other ones. I mean, obviously it, it wasn't top one, right? Like, right. Uh, yeah, right. But like at first I said one, three, four, two, but I, like I, and I think about like these these weird plot holes and and just like the direction of the movie, right? I, like. I don't know if it's the like the I don't think it's a bad movie, but it might be the oh, no. worst one. It's like, yeah, the worst of them, the, all of them being good. But what, what do you think? Like, do you is that? I could agree. Yeah, I think it goes like one, three, two, four. Uh, and like, I, I don't, I, I and I say that very like like with a heavy heart, right? Because I don't want it to. And be. I, I think it could. I, I think I want to watch it again, and it might move back up to oh, the third oh, slot, right? Um, Which, yeah, it's but just it's just right. now. Now, but when you can, yeah, it's like when you consider like the whole like the misuse of Tai Long, the No Furies Five, right? Um, just like uh, I don't know, like the the, the heroes or anything, they they kind of had. Uh, it, it's just like I don't know, it all piles up, and it's just like right. what 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 happened? Could have been better, right? But this is the fact that like they they got Tai Long back, but just like like three lines, really, <laughs> right? Three, three lines, and then at the end, you're like you're pretty cool. And that was it. It's like. Maybe I was wrong, Poe. Right. But oh, you know what? I'm before. I'm sorry. Before he's, uh, this is all like mass trap. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, why are like are they all like at peace? I'm just confused about that. That made no well, sense. That's, to me. that's what I don't get. Yeah, is that you literally have all the villains from all three of the first movies, and then hundreds of others, right? And then it's like, oh, we're all just fine with this now. Like Shen literally got murked. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. He'd be pissed. <laughs> Uh, if it's Ty and Poe did not end on good terms, right? Like Tai Lung, fine, I guess, because he was a good guy beforehand. But the other two were like terrible. Like, right? Yeah, like, they were actual war villains. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, there's no reason for them to just be like, "Yeah, you're cool, Poe." Right? And they just, they, they're like, "Oh, we're willing to go home." Right? Why? Like, right. Especially Why? Shen. No, right. actually, I'm sorry, both of them, because uh, just uh, leave, run away. <laughs> Kai literally, like his and mission was. Then, then guess what? Tai Lung could have paralyzed Poe really quick, like <laughs> caught him off guard, and then he could have gone away. And the next movie uh, could have been like, "Hey, they're back." Yeah, but isn't isn't Poe like just impervious? Like it just tickles him because of his his fat. I don't know. And then right, but like Tai Lung could have got stronger, like had a hidden ability from like the spirit realm, right? Right. He could have been training there. No, but... oh, right, right. Or you know, at least would have been a really. Interesting uh, uh, after credits cutscene, which there was no. Oh yeah, life, no, no after. It would have been scene. great if, like, maybe it could just be Taiwan, but it could be all three of them. All of them are like just meditating, and, and then Uguay's there too, like in the spirit realm. Like they, they're, oh, that's how yeah. they all came at peace. Right. That would at least like like explain like, yeah, explain something that like maybe <clears throat> Uguay's like 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 job now. It's just like. Bringing these villains to peace right. of mind, right. and you know, at least they don't have to say anything. You know, Uwe just could have been like, you know, inner peace, you know, right. and then the and three are just sitting there. Right, and that was it. That that yeah, I, I, that could have fixed a lot of our uh, issues, right. here, but they didn't. Um, so with that said, uh, I, like I'm trying to think of a number to give this because I like the movie. Right, you know? I still have like a pretty high number for it. Right, like it's not a bad movie at all. It's just. Being a fan uh, and the, <laughs> of the universe and like wanting a little more, I guess. But the movie as it was was fine, like perfect. Oh no, it's fine, like, yeah, right. Like, like, movie, yeah, like right. they there could have been things that were different for the better. I feel like as a fan of the universe, but oh, um, I'm sorry. I, I just want to ask you this before we like get the review here. What um, what were your thoughts on like the the talking head? Like so, like like remember when like Poe like Shifu's in his brain. And he's just like, like, oh, you do this, do that, you know, like. Oh um, yeah, that was like a running I, joke throughout the movie. I, I didn't like it. I think it was just a cop out to like get voice lines without him having to be there. Probably. Yeah, like, they're like, because they're, they're probably like, we can't have Chief who come along because then we have to have more lines for him. We have more lines, got to pay right. more. But we need more lines for him to justify like whatever price we gave. Right. So uh, like my thought, like, okay, what if we record some lines and he just talks to him like, you know, like you know, what made up brain chief, you know. I, I like. I really wasn't a huge fan of that gag, um, right? You know, I just feel like it was just kind of like too kitty, yeah. too childish, pretty much. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was okay, right? Like, I, I, see, I honestly had forgotten about it. I, so. I thought I like they said too childish because that perfectly describes it. Because even though it's Kung Fu Panda and like, uh, yes, I was geared towards children, 
there are still like kind of this like a realistic line in terms of like the kung fu and just like the gimmicks they do right but like that it's it's a very it's a really good blend of like like i think of puss in boots too i don't see a kid's movie in that at all oh yeah like (laughs) i look back on that movie and i'm like like he's fighting death like like death is following him the whole time like he's like having a like midlife crisis almost like the whole movie like an existential crisis thing and then it's like uh, you you like look at this movie and you're like oh like this is geared towards children right like from the minute it starts you're like oh this is just like goofy kids movie but then like it, like once it starts you're like wait a minute <laughs> this isn't really goofy kids movie like she's like a mob boss she like i think she like kills someone like at one point like pushes him down wait, the who? stairs or whatever the chameleon oh oh, she, oh like, yeah, kill, like, he's a rhino guy or yeah, whatever. yeah like so like then it takes like a darker turn and like there's a line of like moving away from just like a kid's movie to like okay like <laughs> preteen right or something like. yeah but that's why i was saying like, the talking head just made it feel kid like because right. it's just like it's just like a kid right. gimmick you right. know <laughs> they like get too lost in the writing like wait whoa, whoa, whoa there's a kid's movie like what do we do <laughs> what do we do and it's like oh just put the stupid joke in right here right like right um yeah i, I just want to mention that yeah. they just kind of like i was like this i just felt kind of stupid right. or like out of place uh i like i'm gonna probably say overall like if i'm just looking at it as a movie and i'm trying to step back from like Comparing it, like been, it could have been, right. yeah. I'd say like a seven point five. Seven was like, the like, number that came to mind. Yeah, it, like it's yeah. a good, like just as itself is a good movie, but just like when you're a kung fu panda fan, it's hard to think like, wait, why does that happen? Why, like, why? What about Tai Lung? Like, right. What's going on? Like, No Furious Five, which you know, so that's what like, but it's still, it's just a funny movie. Like, it's just a right. f- funny movie. It's still fun. There's a lot of great parts. To the right. movie, like right. all the combat when they do it, they've gotten better and better with like the fight scenes. Dream, I, I think I said it after like we left the theater, but I was like, "There's a." I'm more excited for DreamWorks movies now than I am for like Disney movies oh, at yeah. this point. Like, I feel like their animations gotten really good over the last couple of years. Like, the storylines are like all really good lately. So, like they're they're just like on top of it right now. Yeah, so like I mean, yeah, I was gonna say seven point five. You're sticking at seven. Seven, I'd say. Uh, I'm yeah. going seven. I, I don't want to feel alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, also, uh, yeah. So like, I I do want to get it again. Um, I'm right. kind of like I I get it physically, but I'm kind of waiting for like the whole series to be That's, done uh, with. And then like, I was I was thinking it like while while we've been talking, I'm like, oh, I got to see if there's like a pre order for it. But I'm like, well, like I want like a complete collection or right. something, right? Like you know, so. Um, but like that's a, it'll definitely be something I'll watch when it comes to like streaming services. Right. I'm like, okay, let me, let me, I, I do want to reevaluate it. I want to yeah. watch it, maybe like slow it down and like, like, hmm, maybe I, maybe I overthought this right. or what, you know? Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'd say seven. Like, and our, I would say, like, when you go, when you're down to six, six is like mediocre or right. like, you know, it's just passable for like watching a movie. Like seven, you know, good experience. Right. Funny. Still good. Yeah, still good. Uh and it really is great, great fight scenes, like we were saying. Like the yeah. just the whole fight between them and the chameleon was just start to end really good. Like just uh from an animation standpoint. Right. It was right. She's really like great. She- shifting into all the guys and like doing different no, techniques yeah. and Poe's just like dodging and going <laughs> around and stuff like that. Like right. So yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's basically it, right? Yeah, uh, banger. <laughs> Definitely recommend go watch it, go support it so they like I want more, right? right. I, like I always well, want more Kung Fu Panda, but like I don't really. <sighs> at this point, like the the first three were like a movie, like a series, right? Right. Anything past this now, I'm like, it's like I'm just watching you, just because I want the itch, right? Like, well, because he said, I mean, like after three came out, I think it was a year or two later. They said he has like plans for like three more. Okay. Fit, but I yes, yeah, so, but now that we have the Dragon Warrior, my again, my assumption the next one is like how to be the Dragon Warrior, right? I, I I don't know if in like the last movie in like the saga Poe will like transcend. I you know, you know right. like, it's I, like I think in the but, next one Shifu might die and then Poe's gonna that's take what that I, yeah. role. Right. And, no, but Poe's above that role. Right, but like I feel he, like he could do both, maybe. You know, he's or, the teacher now. Like right, he, but right. like Shifu's like retired. Right. Babe. But I, I think I think at some point they probably need to address him having a family. Which is like I'm not really too keen on, but Oh, like, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I think at some point he's going to like he's going to have to find some panda, you know, that he falls in life. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. You know, because um, that's like an issue, right? Is like the pandas were like being wiped out. 
Right. And there's like a village of them, but that doesn't mean they're not super low. Right. Uh, right. But they never hinted at like some like, uh, oh, I need to, you know, create a family. Right. But love interest it would make, but they could easily have it where Poe's dad from the panda side was just like, hey, son, so when are you going to get laid these days? Wait, we need to repopulate, son. It's your, <laughs> you know, it's like civilian <laughs> duty. <laughs> civilian duty. You know, it's like, so where to take it from here it, I, is the problem is I'm also, I'm not sure if I want to see a lot more of Aquafina as them. Right. It's nothing against her. It's just, I don't know. I think let it settle. I think, see, like I was saying before, bank your money on this series until Shrek 5 comes out when you're like <laughs> literally swimming. In like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think they don't realize when the Shrek 5 comes out, like that thing better be a masterpiece because it will literally <laughs> make them billions or, of dollars. Or it could destroy Dream. It, it could literally shut them down in a day. <laughs> It's bad, but um, yeah. like they'll be swimming in so much money. You could do whatever you want. You could make Shrek uh, Kung Fu Panda five, and it'd be like a disaster, and be like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, we try. But push the three. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, you know, so yeah, I'm like, but oh, yeah. uh, the, the point of that was get the Furious Five back for the next movie. I like make sure you have I, enough money to justify it. at least, at least Tigress. Get Angelina Jolie yeah. somehow. So like, or find a doppelganger. Just just find someone who can be Angelina Jolie. And there's like no difference. I, so they I, could do it with Rick and Morty. I, I really don't care if that tie. Like, I don't care for Tigers being like a, an odd focus in the Furious Five. I'm like, but like that was like that was kind of like the setup of the love interest, I guess, right? It was like, they're like, uh, they like uh, playful, uh, but then they were like, we gotta cut you I, from I, the movie, so you're just a friend now, bye-bye. But I don't think even, I don't know sure if they'll actually pull the trigger on right, interspecies. Right, right, <laughs> like. right. Look at our little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, <laughs> he's, a, he's a piger. What? <laughs> What is that? He's a tanga. Yeah. He's just a, like, a tanga like, egg. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Uh, um, but, but honestly, I wouldn't be too upset if they just did a spinoff instead movie. But right. I actually, I do like that. Yeah, maybe just have like one or two back. And then the other ones are on right. missions, whatever. You like, can just like kind of recycle it. Right. Give me, give me the buddy cop of Monkey and, and oh, oh, Which, oh, that would be good. You know, you know, just kind of side note. I've never really liked that their names were just. Like monkey viper, li- so like mantis. T- well, at least at least monkey and M- mantis and crane, tigress kind of like right and viper. I guess yeah, viper. Yeah, right, right. But like really crane. Right. <laughs> Poe has a name. Shifu has a name. He's not just red panda or <laughs> that, panda. that was funny. That was actually funny. Like, yeah. oh, red panda. And yeah. she's like, huh? <laughs> is that is that yeah? Um, but uh, uh like like. I'm I I hope I'm very curious on what the direction they're gonna take this. Uh, I, I either Poe dies by the end of it, or he's just like ends up being a family, you know, like in a family, right, a family guy, or if, <laughs> he gets so like he actually gets older and shows age and makes you know Aquafina the you know spear and the spear guardian, right? And that's like the leader. end of it. Right. I, I think like Poe should just be like old and that's it, and just be like the teacher and. Here's the, oh, actually, yeah, before we end this, my, my credit, my concern here is Poe is perfect as like a, the fighter because he's like, he's big, you know, he, yeah, he's goofy, but like he's fat. He can like bounce things off of him. He like big, but when it comes to Zen, who is a coarse, coarse sack fox, a fox, they're super small. So it's, right. just, it's more like a lot of light, fast, flurry punches kind of right. fighting style, like, like she, which Looks cool, but he gets backhanded once. He's just out, right? You right. know, it's like like how like, like with Poe, you're gonna have stamina, you're gonna have power, mass, you know. But with this fox, you're not gonna have that. I don't know like how they're gonna address that. Right, right. Yeah, it's it's just like a weird character. That's how I was saying. Like, I don't know. Like they could have tested the waters and not made her the dragon warrior. Like, right, yeah, way, right, right. So I don't know. It it's gonna be weird. I, I like I want another sequel. Like, what was the break between three and four? Eight years. It was eight Holy years. Sh- it was twenty. Holy it, came out, it came out in twenty like sixteen, twenty seventeen. That was um. How long ago did Jack Black announce it? Because he just like randomly announced it one day, right? I forget how that worked. Yeah, twenty six. It came in twenty sixteen. Holy. So it has been eight years. Holy hole. Oh, I, I, well, my curious is how long has it been production for? Right. Well, like when did? Quick, it, it, uh, it, it, wow. It actually did. Wait. What, wow. Oh, so it grossed 287 million worldwide, making it the fifth highest growing film of 2024. Although it's 
not over yet. Right. It was but then it like says, in January. Well, it received mostly positive reviews from critics and audience because, it, it, however, it became the lowest rated film in the franchise. Right. I mean, that's how, I mean, okay. Got, well, okay. It, it blew out like it, it budget eighty five million. Box I mean, yeah, okay, super, it's gonna get a sequel. It's a, it's a it, successful yeah, yeah. movie. Yeah. I was told from my movie friend Vinny that for a movie to actually be successful, b- bare like just barely success is double the budget. Because yeah, well, look at like uh, that's like what Blumhouse does. All of their budgets for all of their movies are like a million dollars. So anything above that, like all those paranormal activity movies, that's why they keep making them. Oh, they're che- stupid, yeah, but, yeah, stupid yeah, profits. They're, on them. Yeah, they're cheap and like so, practical effects are cheap. Right. But uh, I mean, so like that that pleases me. I actually didn't think about its its gro- its val- uh, gross. Right. You know, but the fact that it did make stupid money means that they like okay, people want to see more. Right. Yeah. So like. That's way like almost almost four times its its budget. You know, it right. went it went three times. That's that that to me means there's gonna be a Kung Fu Panda five, which great. Uh, right, it, there should be. De- right. Oh, there you go. Here. December twenty ten. Wait. Oh, well, yeah, that's okay. So that's when they announced it'd be three more sequels. Oh, okay. oh after Kung Fu Panda three, that was in twenty ten. Damn, a six film series. Uh, possibly a fourth film. What is it? It's one at a time. We want to make it perfect. Jewel, well, that didn't work out, and <laughs> we'll see what happens after that. Uh, we try, we don't want to try to have them feel open ended. We want it to feel like a completed journey, right? Which I mean, I guess, like realistically, if four was the last one, they it could is be complete, yeah, right? Yeah, because like, like there's a there's a Dragon new, Warrior, new Dragon Warrior, pose in charge, post okay, a virgin, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what they really care about. Right, it's like right. Pope cannot get laid. Uh, let's see. In 2022, they confirmed? Really? That late? Yeah, they teased it. It was just like, oh, by uh, the way. Like, I think it was like, hey, we're, uh, it's it's going to come out. Right. Um, the first one was wrapping up to the final come during War. So, wonder if another sequel look, took all that away, leading the filmers to find some really great heavy themes. I would not call it heavy themes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to evolve post character, introduce new character, and expand the franchise's world. So, they did that, but. I mean, I want to say, well, I guess Poe evolved and like, he's like, oh, you have to change, which right. I thought he would have learned that by now, but here we are. <laughs> Thinking, learning something to advance the next level. Having a black and white view of the world wanted to pair him with a more morally gray character. Okay, I mean, that yeah, makes that sense. Works. Yeah, Mitchell also wanted a character who Poe can be frustrated by, like, how she feels. Okay, that's okay. That's a good explanation that, right. you know, that, that balance. Um, Mitchell saw to make her more brain than brawn. Okay. Like, it looked like they, they hit the goals they wanted to, but the right. execution wasn't, like, entirely... 100%. Right. right. It, yeah. Or really, it's the story that needed to be fleshed out. <laughs> in 2013, Mitchell stated that Mas- the Masters of the Furious Five would make an appearance in the film. And that they are... Oh, wow. Did he actually say that off on their own individual missions? Oh. Huh. Confirmed that there would be a glimpse of the Furious Five. Wow, I did not. When did that happen? I don't. I remember, remember that was in that. 2013. Huh. Well, and apparently in a Discord Q and A in a fan server. Wow, where was that fan server? Yeah, what? During that. <laughs> no, the Furious Five were not originally going to appear, despite protests from writers, artists, and animators. May Stein explained that it was due to the cost of the original actors, especially Angel Lily and Tigress. However, the marketing department told the filmmakers to include them in a cameo appearance. Right. Yeah, but like. Well, I think that wouldn't the marketing want them to be in a commercial, but they right. but there's like there was nothing they couldn't have shown them without right. them being in the car- in the right. picture. Um. Uh, and while we're will be the last two films being made entirely in house at DreamWorks, Poor, let's see, we'll be moving from producing films in house in their Glendale campus to rely more heavily on outside studios. Really? I, 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 I think that's a bad. That's, that's not. Sounds I, I, terrible. Yeah, that sounds. That sounds. You remember, put, put, if if Puss in Puss Two was in 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 house, I you know like like just you're doing some Shrek right. Five. Like, what are you doing with that? You can't tell me you're outsourcing that because you will. Yeah, that that movie right is like such a phenomenon right now that like it will literally kill DreamWorks if it's bad. Wait, hold on. Is this, well, also, we didn't even talk about the cover, which we'll talk about in a second, but. Wait, is Nation you come out with a new album on March 8th, or is it just saying it released simultaneously? I think it's just, no, it's just I think it's just that yeah, song, but they're calling it. I album. love the cover. Yeah, I think so it's, it's during it's the a banger. what was it during the credits, right? It played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or there's there's like it's during the credits, but there's like a scene where Zen and Poe are training, and then the, the Furious Five show back up and they're like training them like they trained Poe in the first movie, and that like 
right like me room whatever yeah um but there's a baby won't hit me baby one more time cover by tenacious d that plays and it's a banger yeah it's really good yeah i i've listened to it multiple times after that it's yeah. uh, i like it a lot uh but you know it, with all this information said it's great that i made a lot of money that means that it most likely gonna get an extra uh, a sequel uh but I'm, again we're gonna stick to seven it's like yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess we're not in the wrong here because everyone else, I guess, agrees that it's the worst, right. like, rated one. But again, maybe we'll, we'll do, maybe do a follow-up after we watch it again. Right, like an update. Down yeah. the road. <laughs> update. It's still the worst. <laughs> it's worse, too. Uh, I, anything you want to say before we uh, cut it? Uh, check out the other ones. I mean, the, the whole series is great. If you haven't watched any of them, like, I don't know what you're doing here watching the <laughs> review for the fourth one, but, like, watch them all. They're, right. they're all... It's it's a banger series, right? Oh, like, no, it's a great... Right, it, it's like, you know, you look back at, like, Dude. old Dreams works and, like, not the... They, the... they have, like, such banger movies, and the I don't perf- know. The performance of, of Tai Lung in the first one... That just like, oh, he like so he's, when he's fighting Shifu, it's just like, it's unbelievable, like movie magic. It's so yeah. good. Am I going to make you proud? Tell me. Right. It's just like, right. dude, it's just like, and then dude, I just, it, it kind of gives me chills, but when he like goes to grab, um, Shifu? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, Oolong's, um, Oolong, um, um, after, wait, is that, ooh. Uguay. Uguay, sorry, I'm sorry. Uguay's Uguay like staff to like attack, but he like comes to his senses that like, oh, he's dead. He's like, well, you can now make me the dragon right, warrior, right? right? Right. Just like I thought that was just like the coolest thing. He's just full of rage and he's like, huh. Yeah. I was like, okay, you can take this. That was ooh, just I might go home and watch the yeah, yeah, dude, watch dude, the first dude. one again. I like I I love any excuses. Be like, I want to yeah. watch the first one, just, yeah. especially just that. It's so, it's good. so good. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, become a member today. Join our Discord. Talk to us. Leave a comment below. Like, did you like the movie? Right. We're low rated. Are, do you want now? Not want to watch it? Check I'll, out our other reviews. Yeah, you know, we do some. We do some cool ones here. You know, we might make a new playlist like movie reviews. Yeah, yeah. I want to do more of them. I think it'd be more fun. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Bye. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. Bye.